Hey everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can flip your data in Power Query. So in this example here, I've got my order numbers going, going vertically. And if I want to see all the fields relating to them, then I need to scroll left and right to do that. But, you know, let's say I don't want my data structured this way. Instead, I want to be able to scroll up and down to see all my fields. So to do that, what I need to do is flip the data set. So the first step is going to be isolating what, what column I want to serve as, as my main header going across. In this case, it's going to be the order number. So I'm going to select this, right click, unpivot other columns. Okay. Click on this. And now you'll see, now I've got my fields going, going vertically as opposed to horizontally. Now the, other step I need to take is now to re-pivot this, except this time I'm going to select the, the order number um, column again. And under transform, click on the pivot column option. And I'm going to select value as my values column because this is obviously where I've got my, my values. And I'm going to click advanced options. And instead of count all, I'm going to specify don't aggregate. So I don't want to do any calculations, anything like that. I just want um, the values as they are. And so now what's going to happen is through Power Query, now I've flipped the data. So now my order numbers are going across and, you know, now I can see my fields easily like this. So all you do is, you know, scroll left and right. And so this might be preferable, you know, depending on how your data set looks. If you don't have you know, a lot of fields, this makes it easy to, to just see it all there, you know, all, all, all the values in there without having to go, um, across, which, which, you know, can make it, uh, not, not as easy to, to sift through. And now let's say we wanted to flip back the other way. So in this situation, you know, we, we don't like this layout and we'll go back to the other one. So again, we're going to do the same thing where we're going to select um, the column that you want to, to go across and right click unpivot other columns and now we've got those values going back uh, vertically again and then again what we'll do select the attribute column and select pivot column and my value is in the value column advanced options are going to be don't aggregate aggregate hit okay and now we're we're back to how we were at the start now through this through these steps we we've shifted around some of these um, some of these fields the way that they're set up but as you can see it's it's in the same format and so if you wanted to switch back and forth the key is to first unpivot and then repivot so unpivoting puts everything in just a few columns and then you pivot back out uh, what when uh, after selecting the what you want to use as as your main row as your main main categories going across so that's a quick way to restructure your data in power query if you want to shift from one view to another relatively quickly the main thing is to remember that when you're um you know pivoting the data you're not aggregating and you're selecting the correct values, and then you can quickly shift from one view to another. 